Fear, because Fear is one of my fucking favourite games, like, best shooter, best, like, just, oh, I just think it's brilliant. I mean, this game, god, it's like fucking ten years old now or something, something like that, it's like 2006, isn't it? Um, I don't even think it's, it's, it's aged much, if at all. Uh, we're going to be playing on Extreme, because we are the definition of Extreme. Meet this while the, the cutscene runs in case anyone's actually that interested. Cut game a little bit faster than that, come on. Sorry to wake you, Senator. It's about Origin. What happened? There was an uprising. Fettel has taken command of the prototypes. My God. We can still resolve this discreetly, but we have to move fast. Oh, all right, all right. Let me make a few calls. This uh. wacko's name is Paxton Fettel. He's the key. If we contain him, we contain the situation. Fucker's got an appetite. I think he has an agenda. It's not just recreational. He's getting something out of it. Essential vitamins and nutrients? What's his story? Property of Armacam Technology Corporation. They're working on a military contract to develop an army of clones that respond to a psychic commander. Top secret, of course. Fettel is one of the commanders. You gotta be fucking kidding me. This is why nobody takes us seriously. Military clones? A full battalion of them. Highly trained and heavily armed. A battalion? What are we supposed to do against a thousand super soldiers? Like I said, we put Fettel down and it's over. Fortunately, the whole point of the program is to give commanders first-hand knowledge of the battlefield without putting them in danger. That means we should be able to corner the bastard without having to wade through all those soldiers. How do we find him? Army came and planted a transmitter in his head. Should lead us right to him. That's awfully convenient. Assuming it does what it's supposed to. What about you, buddy? Ready to go to work? You putting him in the field? Are you crazy? He just transferred in a week ago. 
You've seen his training results. His reflexes are totally off the charts. I think he can handle himself. Whatever, man. It's your call. Goddamn right it is. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Let's roll. What's the first thing? You will be a god among men. We've tracked Fettel to an abandoned building just up ahead. No sign of enemy activity on the satellite, but don't take any chances. Jankowski, you in position? Just say the word. All right, move it out. Okay, good. I think we can talk at this point. Let's get out of this fucking car. Now, in theory, all of my control binds should be set up just how I want them, which I am very particular about these sort of things. Uh, I, I am a right mouse button jumper, master race, right mouse button jumper, master race. Not like most games would have you do it with a space bar, plebby space bar. Not for me, thank you. Get out of here, bins. This game has a weird bug with um, modern versions of Windows where you have to disable lots of your input devices just to get the game to play on a frame rate that isn't complete bobbins which is uh, always good definitely what you want in a video game performance dictated by the game apparently pulling devices too much it was running very smooth on the, the stream I have to say it's looking pretty nice uh, nothing in there what do we got? we got a flashlight let's just go on up here. Can't go that way. Uh, huh. What's this thing? A uh, spooky picture. That's what that is. What's this doing here? Who left their chair there? I gotta try and zap through most of this if I can because obviously I've done some of this on the channel already. I don't particularly want to spend too much time retreading ground that some of you may have already seen, but otherwise, you know, this might be a brand new experience to you. And certainly we're doing it in better uh, definition than we did last time. But I will preface this by saying, in all honesty, I, I, I'm not going to get scared by this game. Uh, even if I was somehow afraid of, like, shooters like this. It's fucking broad daylight. Me. You were born here, in this place. You coming, mate? Where did you go? do that. Search area. Search area you say. Not the most accurate shot in the world. This game had free multiplayer for a while. It was pretty bobbins. It was like not the most pleasant experience in the world for a game I have to say. I, I mean I played a lot of rubbish multiplayer games in my life but Fear of combat, wow. Just, just, just wow. Uh, can we, like, do a... How can we do a... There we go. Okay, ready! Oh no, it didn't work. Damn you, Paxton Fettel. Your kung fu. He kind of looks like he's got a tail. It's not, it's just a soldier behind him. Take your word for it. Take your word for it, mate. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Uh, sorry, I was just um, having a, a nap. Right, okay. What did I say about jacking about? Let's, um, let's stop fucking jacking about, eh? 
two birds. That'll be these two fellas here. Good. Did I start the game on extreme? I better have fucking started it on extreme. Let's just quickly check that. Extreme, yes. I haven't played this game in a while, so this might be a... Sorry, there's dialogue there. That's fine. Who's interested in that? You boys run along. I'll be busy here for a while. Shaking her bum. Slag. That one time I brought the baby monitor and it just kept sounding like a really deranged baby. These men are from fear. They are special attachments to our unit for the duration of this op. That's me. They will be on point. Their mission is to assess. He's got a camera as well. Look at that. Our job is to keep them alive. Do not engage. We don't have cameras. Remember that we are not dealing with ordinary bad guys. Team one will move in from the southwest. Team two will approach from the north. Once our recon is complete. We'll rendezvous and wait for further orders. Okay, let's saddle up. Okay, I didn't bring my saddle. That's fine. We don't need that. It is bloody hot again. I'm putting my microphone in a slightly different position for this recording incident to try and mean that I can have my fan on and play this game because as I found trying to record that me footage it doesn't really work and I can't I have to have a fan on good why are you so fucking tall mate holy shit Giving me the eyeball. Alright, okay, I'll open your stupid gate. We want to get this. Uh -huh. The one thing I do notice about this game though, playing it in kind of retrospect, is there's a distinct lack of a sprint button. I'll just come out the window. Yeah. Look at them go. Hi. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, they died. They died pretty fucking quick, didn't they? Something's jamming our transmission. Whatever could that be? Plot convenience? Could be. Alma? Could be. Spooky little bit of music you can hear in the background, I, I really like. It's never really explained why it's significant at all, much like a lot of things in this game. It's kind of there for the sake of itself. Well, you can disable toggle crouch, you can't disable toggle iron sight. Are we going to get to shoot something soon? I can't, I'm sorry. I don't have any medkits yet. Jesus, mate. He, he, he somehow flipped like all around. Good. Entering with a bang. This is the block bot way. I hear a noise. I was in a restaurant on Friday called. Brasserie Blanc. Fancy that. My own restaurant. My own restaurant, guys. Serving only the finest cuisine. And it was fine. It was indeed very fine. God, why do you kind of stumble up the stairs like that, you fucking fruitcake? Get off of your bucket. No, don't get stuck on that. 
good. Trash in the place. Let's, uh, we'll call him Spooky Nomad. Or maybe just Nomad. We'll just pretend this is Nomad from, um, what should we call it? Middens. That's the one. Right, here we go. We'll see how long we can go without using a uh, bullshit slow mo for a while, anyway. I've had to put the mouse sensitivity down to practically zero just to actually be able to play this game. I saw him. That's a coffee cup. It's not. It's not a grenade, guys. It's not a grenade. Don't worry. He is dead. Okay, good. That was a lot of bullets we put into that guy. I think that's okay. Perhaps the, the, the weaker part of this game is how the, the guns feel, at least some of the guns, the gunplay. Whoa, that's a fucking weird effect. See that? Spooky, spooky. Oh, get a sore neck. That's what happens when you sit in front of computers all day. Get a sore neck. Anything else we can get here? Any fat loot? There's a fucking submachine gun. We want that. That we do. I think that's the limit of our fat loots. So of course the big the big thing in this game is the kind of Max Payne style slow mo, but it is a little bit kind of bollocks in a lot of ways. Much like it's not like not quite as bad as something like VATS that you get in uh, Fallout Boy. Uh, nice light shit there. Where did he go? Oh, he ducked. Oh shit. Take that, fiend. You. Fuck you, Andrew, we Jimmy mates. Good. You can shoot these things, they blow up. We're only going to do that since we don't have any reason to. Oh, that's premature. Oh shit. Ow. I hate it when they do that. We might need to quickly refresh ourselves on what the fucking grenade button is because we. We don't seem to... Uh, sorry, not grenade. Health kit button. Yeah, so one of the things about fear... If this was in any other game, I said... I would detest it vehemently because I really don't like medkits and games. I like the idea... Especially don't like regenerating health. That's like even worse, but... Um, I don't like the... Kind of the non-committal aspect of it. I, like, I don't like the idea that you can just hoard these things up. Um, until it suits. Oh, there it is. It's in there. I like the, the kind of tactical aspect of having to, you know, go and get the health and then... Oh, shut up. Yes. Don't do that. Blammo. Another thing you can do in this game is you can just run around and just fucking melee the shit out of everything. I'm not a big proponent of that. Nope. 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 Need to make sure and keep my fucking tablet on. If anyone's sending me messages, feel free to like send them again. I, I, I keep fucking going on standby. 
I keep forgetting to tap every now and then. Give it a bit of love. Uh, I hope the grenade button is G. I don't know what that little black line was. It's fine. Don't need that. God fear guy. What are you doing? Fuck it. Uh, sorry. Nomad. That was that then. I don't believe it. They'll be fucking playing, play dead. Just watch. They'll be around here. There's something really endearing about the AI in Fear as well. I think that they've they've done a, something quite good in making the chat and stuff very immersive. Like the combine in Half Life Two. I really like the combine in Half Life Two because. You know, the way they, they chat out to themselves and they, they kind of act like a, what you can imagine, a military unit. Watch this, watch this. <laughs> you can come up here and check if you want, mate. I'm kind of nonplussed. It's, it's, it's your misfortune if you choose to do so. I was really unwell for the last couple of days, which which kind of sucked. I'm not a big fan of being unwell. He had the big guns. Nice little touches like that. Just just make this game really charming to me. Right, okay, I think it's time for uh, a good old hose down. My heightened reflexes, you say. Oh shit. We are well over committed here. One of the things the hated reflexes apparently did not give is, is the ability to fire a gun without it kicking all over the fucking shop. What's in this door? Another way in there. Okay, good. Noisy traffic outside. I do, I do apologise if that is irritating anybody. <clears throat> I'm not in charge of the traffic. I have enough responsibilities as it is without getting involved in traffic management. Uh, okay, good. How are we doing for ammo? Yeah. Yeah, I get. Huh. Good. Take that stuff. Oh. Spooky man's face. Someone, someone. The noise when Jankowski vanishes as well. It's quite creepy. The situation is not really going to get resolved. Uh, I hate to add. He's just going to do that. I haven't played any of the the uh, expansion packs to fear. I have not played uh, Perseus Mandate. Uh, I've not played Extra Extraction Point. <clears throat> I have played Fear Three a bit, uh, mainly because it was a co-op title. I was looking for a co-op game to play. But yeah, Fear Fear Three is it's not really like this at all. Uh, can we do a quick save? Yeah. It's possible to fuck this up. Yeah, we better run! Take that, Alma! Oh no! Oh no! Get out of there! Uh oh, we're taking damage. Wasting her armor there, just being a clown. That's the, the Blanc way.
battle. Well, these things are stable. Oh, we were fine. We just we just fell out of a fucking window. He's alive. Should I call in a medevac? Doesn't appear to be injured. Kiss me. I don't know how he survived. I'm amazing. That's why. She's got a fucking camera as well. What the fuck's with that? You can't send him in alone. That's crazy. Crazy. You're right, I can. Part of the dialogue that we skipped. Thanks. Thanks, mate. Uh, I think she goes like, oh, he's he's really cute. It's because she can't actually see me. She can only see the, the character formerly known as Nomad. Probably the easiest puzzle in this game. Cross over here. Open this. Hit this knob. Listen to the phone. Maybe that's a reflection on you, mate. Maybe you're uh, distant and inaccessible to people. Maybe you should open up a bit more. Instead of being a constant arsehole to everybody. There isn't so much a secret um, collection thing in this game as there is just occasionally getting those boosters. There is There are a couple of interesting secrets that we will see in due course. But it's not like uh, Doom secrets or anything like that. Who's ready for the spooky? Huh. We're not going to go down that one quite that quickly. If I remember right, this was the bit that you got in the uh, the fear demo, and this is the bit that made an impression on a lot of people. What are they running away from? Stupid rats. I don't get why the game's quivering like that. Really fucking off putting. Come back here! Damn it, you armor. Breathing's a nice touch. Doesn't matter my own, unfortunately. I'm the buzzkill, of course. I'm here to provide the comedy relief. No, it's not. He died. He fell in the river. See, and here's his body. What the hell's up with this water? Look at the way it's fucking spazzing around like that. Ah, oh, used to go up ladders. Who came up with that? All right, okay, who's ready for a good old fisticuffs? Got away. Oh dear. You're not that okay. I, I hasten to add. We seem to be doing pretty well. I'm quite pleased with how little damage we've taken so far, but it's only going to take a couple of moments. If any of you saw me playing Serious Sam a moment ago, you'll know that I'm obviously not in the right state of mind to be playing first person shooters. Where's the other bastard? What's down here? Huh? Interest? Aha! Secret bunk compartment! Eventually, we're just gonna be able to pretty much stay in the high reflex mode for 
forever. It's just going to make fights incredibly easy. So I, I kind of, I, I, I made actually a long a point of playing through this game entirely without using the reflexes. Uh, I unbound the key, and the game is is still surprisingly good fun. Although there are, it does lose a little bit of, of some of its uh, flair not using it, but it does make the game a bit more challenging at the same time. Some fights in particular, if you aren't using the slow mo, the baddies will just bum rush you, and <laughs> it can be difficult to take them on when they do that. Calm down, mate. No, I forget you could do that. Okay. Let's let's do that. So this gun here, the G3A3, it's kind of your meat and veg of the game because you get so much ammo for it. It's, it's not a particularly incredible gun, but. It's an important one to have just because you just end up having to use it all the time just because of how much ammo there is for it. The submachine gun, I would say, is probably a better weapon simply because of a better rate of fire, but. Keep it down, will you? That's a plane outside, it's not to do with the amb ambience of the game. You can just barely hear the music at the moment. My new computer. Good. Shut up. I mean, even the grenades are kind of cheese in this. You just. He's not going to constantly remain like that. The grenades will vary in their effectiveness against certain enemies. They're already filing in here, aren't they? Huh. I think we might have stacked that a little bit. Oh, we got one of them. Grenade for a second. There is another guy, I heard him. Where the flip did he go? Maybe there isn't. Maybe I'm making it up. I could have swore I heard a guy saying we need reinforcements. We've also got these pistols. I demonstrate them. Some people swear by these, likewise. Um, in this game, and they'll just use the pistols the whole game. That's not a terrible idea, but because the enemies don't drop it, you can run into ammo shortage issues, but they are kind of fun in their own right. Now open that up, for fuck's sake. There we go. Open the door, get on the floor. What's going on over here? Uh, Delicious. Right. Oh yeah, this game has product placement by Alienware. Stop that. Pads of paper. Uh, because they are dirty bastards. Polluting them rivers. Let's, we're gonna use the pistols, won't we? Yeah, we'll, we'll stick to that. We, we're just so well well stocked at the moment. We we ain't got we ain't got a fucking problem with anything. We can just roll into the situations as presented. Right. Okay. Oh shit. That could have went bad. The grenades will fucking hurt if you let them. You see what they're trying to do here? They're trying to fucking rush me. Shit. We are getting a fucking ass handed to us by these guys. Right, right okay, enough of this. Oh shit. 
Wow, yeah, shit, man. Oops. You see what I mean about the health kits? You can just kind of abuse the shit out of them in a firefight. See, that was me talking about how awesome the pistols were. And then you just saw me get completely trashed because I tried using them. I guess stick to my old faithful, thanks very much. I like big gun, big blasty gun. We nuked about half of our fucking medkits there. That's a lot of medkits to go through for such a menial fight. But we also didn't use very many grenades, which I'm going to say put us in the backhand a bit. And these, two grenades. And if you're sitting on one of those grenades, there's a good chance it's just going to kill you, right? You, you, it's, and there's no, like, it's not like fucking Call of Duty where it's like, oh, the grenade, fucking get out of there. It's like, no. You just have to rely on your ears to have picked up correctly where the fuck it was. Get back here. <coughs> Which I like. The game shouldn't hold your hand too much. It's supposed to be scary after all, and what's scarier than having your fucking face blown up by a grenade that you didn't see come in? Scary slash bullshit, perhaps. Don't know what I was thinking there. Obviously nothing was going to be back there. Hup. Take that bottle. So we're going to try and do this um, every day this week. A little bit of fear. Maybe something else, depending on how I'm feeling, but primarily going to be fear. Huh. Bloody hell. Why is that flicking like that? Holy god damn. Have I got V-Sync on or something? No. Oh, who knows. It's fucking horrific. Oh, it doesn't look like that in the stream. No! Good. Good. Bless you. Delicious. Get some health kits. At least the game's not shy about giving us the fucking health kits, because Lord knows we need them after that spanking we got there. Who's that? Bad guy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Didn't want to watch television anyway. Don't know why you were sitting watching that, mate. Nothing good on the all armor cam, all armor cam clone network. Yeah, well, who isn't, man? So this is a, I suppose you could call it a big fight that we're coming up on in a second here. Significant perhaps. What's also significant is we don't have any fucking shotguns. Huh. Good, well we have announced our presence to the local population of dudes. Oh yeah. You don't. There are no reinforcements. Oh. See, this thing has serious stopping power, but the, the pistol's just... Don't. But even that is going to be... Only really for now. It is dead. Good. Stopping power, of course, will... Only see us proud for a little while. And then before you know it, our weapons will seem like they have nearly no point. In fact, the... The cool repeater gun from... 
Hamaja, uh, Hamaja, Hamajama, which I'm call it. So I'm just trying to get my bearings a little bit here. There's things that we want around here. We want to make sure we don't miss them. And I have to try and remember where some of them are because it's not like I did prep on before I was playing this. You fucking mad? Yeah, the repeater rifle, whatever it's called, the rocket launcher thing in Project MSX actually comes from this game. Sprite stealing? Well, technically they didn't steal it. They just made it flat. Alright, okay, I think we're kind of done in here. For now. What's over here? Another health kit. Good. We didn't need it, but we can use it to top ourselves up a bit. What I want is a fucking shotgun. I would be a fucking happy pup if we got a shotgun. One thing that this game does as well that's kind of unique, you don't really see a lot of games even today doing this, is that your view model is actually the kind of the, the world model, so if you look at the shadow and things you can see that like the model is actually the one that's being used in your hands, even down to the animations. That is fucking cool. Not a lot of games do that simply because the view models are just too complicated and you don't have a separate view model and world model. But not fear. Fear does not give two shits about your system requirements. I think it was quite an intense game when it came out. I think that this was like the maker and breaker of many people's computers. Right. Okay. And what we need to be careful about here is the enemies will come up from below us. Which is not a situation we particularly want. Oh yeah, by the way, bad guys with shotguns. That's the thing. Uh, yeah, bad guys with shotguns. That's proper bad news if they get the drop on you. Uh, no. Fuck you. No, no, no. You see, I'm a, I'm a shooter at heart. I'm like, yeah, melee attacks now. The, the, I was talking about fear of combat. The reason fear of combat is a heap of bullshit. Comes down to one particular factor. You fuck. What the fuck are you doing up there? And that is that um, this attack here in multiplayer this is a multiplayer remember this is only versus other players is a one hit kill one hit kill you do that they die blam blam player dead so all you need to do is like get to within fucking spitting distance of them just bam butt of the gun in the face and they just fucking fold and it's bollocks it's like, it's just bollocks I hate shit like that in multiplayer games I think that multiplayer games should have melee as a as a fallback not as a, oh shit here we go he's got a shotgun and you see how fucking little health we had there oh shit We're going to take it because this is a good gun to have in this game. Weird flashing effect there. I don't know what that was. I'll need to look at the stream again afterwards and see if I can figure it out. Good. A wee bit of extra reflex. Name of a particularly good uh, shooter right there. Oh, shit. Sorry, I'm just... 
unlocking my tablet again. Pants, apparently. I don't know how that fits in. <clears throat> I think there's another little noggin of something kicking about here. We'll, we'll see. Kind of low on health kits again. That's never any fun. We ran out of armor quite quickly in that fight as well. You can see if you're taking fire from multiple sources how quickly Puzzling in this game is, is not possibly not as strong as it. Yeah, could have done with a perhaps a skybox there. It looks fine when you're down here, but painting outside the lines. <coughs> Don't be surprised if it starts looking bobbins. I'm saying bobbins a lot it's because we've been watching Ian Lee or listening to Ian Lee rather. He says things like that. I'm not even sure we needed to fight these guys. I'm pretty sure there were. Huh. No. None of that, buddy. See, at the moment, he doesn't know where I am. There he does. He was just running about. Kind of like a mad person. The game provides all these things that make you think there's like branching paths, but in reality they're, they're, they're not really, they're just um, different ways to approach particular situations, which is the general the kind of the, the map design mentality for, for most of this game, in fact. The fuck were you doing there, mate? He's, he's dead, isn't he? Ah, proximity mines, can we... Shit. Well, ow, 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 fuck off, that shit. Yeah, those shotguns do not fuck around. I didn't want to throw that. It did the job, I guess, but I kind of wanted to keep that. Oh, well. Oh, God. That did 20 damage, that fucking single shot from that guy. Uh, oh shit, what did I just pick up? Oh, pistol. Yeah, right, buddy. Pistol. Give me my fucking rifle. We'll just quick save here. I, I, we haven't died yet, so I don't expect us to, to fuck this up, but these guys can kind of. be problematic. On this difficulty. Yeah, look at how much damage that did. You can imagine trying to fight that without using slow mo. Yeah. But we got a better gun out of it. That's always good. I don't know if that was the right call and drop them. There. You can only carry three weapons in case that's not already apparent. Uh, I don't know if that was the right call dropping that other weapon, but the G3A3. But yeah, I don't think we need to shoot those guys because they are pulling out. Couldn't have said it better myself. Excuse me. Oh, that's very unprofessional. <clears throat> My stomach's making weird noises. Shut up, stomach! No one asked you for your fucking opinion. Why does it say connecting? 
Does that mean it isn't connected? Come on, Twitch. Welcome to the chat room. Good. While we're here, while we're actually in this brief respite. Yeah, yeah, looks fine to me. I haven't quite nailed how you do Twitch chat administration. I guess you need second monitors and things like that. I do have another monitor sitting here, but I don't have the appropriate cabling to make it all work. Should have really shot that. That would have been a smart thing to do. But then we wouldn't have been able to do that. And isn't that lovely? Huh. Excellent. Sometimes the war can be a little bit spazzy in this game. Has to be said. You move about so fucking fast as well. It's like, I know it's got height and reflex and everything, but good lord. Why did it save the checkpoint there of all places? Uh, let's see what's up there. I forget. Some of some, some my memories of this game are quite rusty. Just get up, for fuck's sake, Nomad. Just, just jump up onto the thing. There you go. Not hard, man. Fucking difficult. I'm not asking a lot of you. I just want you to climb up in here. Spooky noises. Where is home? I don't know what you're talking about. Some secrets get buried deeper than others. But I know where to dig. No, wait, wait, you've got the wrong guy. Hush now, Mr. Moody. The time for talk is done. Please, no! What was that other way? I'm kind of conscious now that we didn't explore it. It probably just takes us to the same bit, but... What can I say? My completionist sense is uh, tingling. I'm pretty sure you jumped down there from somewhere. Ah! That HV penetrator. Yes, we do want that. This is a good gun to be keeping on us. Nice damage. I'm not going to get a lot of ammo for it at this point. It's still kind of early days in this, this gun's life cycle. This is uh, the kind of weapon that. Oh fuck, I thought I was a bad guy there. That the come on, nomad, just just fucking just jump out. There you go. I'm glad we had to do that three fucking times. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, this is the kind of gun that your grunts will be carrying soon enough. I hasten to say she's over there. Huh? In case you were wondering. Bitch, don't do that. Spooky. Wham. Okay, eliminate packs and fell. That's pretty much what that said. So let's go about doing that. you, Lord Executioner, eh? Buddy ball. You can actually kind of fuck that event up if you jump down from there to there. You can do it in reverse and it doesn't script right. Surprised at that. That's the kind of thing that wouldn't get through QA testing these days, but...
It's a Pendleton 800 SX limited edition. I wonder what exactly is limited about it. I want that. Give it to me. It's delicious. Noisy ass camera. Yeah, let's not go down there quite yet. Blood shower? Anyone? Blood shower? Chance of our showers. <laughs> Longshoreman die dress. Die, die dressed. Die dressed even. So that's it. They're looking into something, but they're not. They've not been told what it is. The, the water containment. Of course, that's only really a part of the puzzle at this point. We've got quite a few more bits of information we need to learn before it really makes any sense. That's a uh, spooky Joe. Look at Julia's hanging about down this part of the facility. That flashlight goes down pretty fucking. If you had that flashlight. Back in what, 2006, flashlights were rubbish. I mean, you just. They would turn off within seconds. You know, you had it on for about 10 seconds and your flashlight would be off. And look at us now. You know, we've got flashlights on our phones and everything. Come back here, Spooky Joe. Yeah, you're not kidding, man. I really love this corridor. This is this is like this is one of the one of my favorite little bits of the lighting. That looks kind of crazy. Very Max Payne, this. I don't know what the fuck's going on with that white flash. Yeah, those things will hurt you. As we're going to find out in due course. Lovely. Bit of blood. Bit of blood to keep us keep us happy and balanced. Open the door discreetly. Nobody caught me. Oops. Sneak your way through the vents. Bit of a trope, this in video games, isn't it? Air vents.
Fuck off. A what? Fuck off of that shit. Fucking have this. Fucking fucking arseholes. Can't believe both of those grades of grenades managed to sail in there and not fucking even hurt them. Okay. Okay, enough jumping about. You're all right there, mate. It's a little lie down. It's a little lie down, it's fine. He's just he's not sleeping on the job, he's just having a little relax. A little snooze. Oh, shit. You're telling me. VK, let's get that out a bit. But uh close range pump in action. <laughs> Shit. We were both kinda jacked about a bit there, weren't we? Uh, we cannot get out that way. Did we get out that way? I forget. Let's climb up this. No. Yeah, my computer is getting really hot at the moment. Oh, we just opened the door. That's what we do. We just opened the fucking door. Shit. All right, I'll tell you how we do this. He took a hell of a lot of fucking fire there. Ow. Oh boy. Yeah, see. <laughs> you see what I mean about the grenades? They don't fuck around, do they? Okay, good. We have to do this fight again. Ugh. We're getting kind of overwhelmed a bit here. I think it's bad. Oof. Are they all dead? Seems to go quite a lot faster than last time. Perhaps not better, but it certainly went faster. I'm glad we didn't lose too much progress, because that would have been a bugger if I had to... Fuck off, mate. Fuck off with your shotgun bullshit. Uh, let's just, uh... Just in case, eh? Oh god. Yeah, you're not kidding, man. In some ways the combat is actually more natural if you just shoot folk. As opposed to using the slow-mo. The slow-mo almost makes it Kind of clunky. Yeah, I, I, it's only because we, we died there, and it seems like a natural place to to save that. It's not because I've been a cheap fuck. Now, this next fight, I know from my own experiences, can be 
It can be intense if you approach it the wrong way. However, we are going to approach it the right way. Which is full of spunk and charisma. No, nothing interesting down there. Monolith Productions, the, the guys that made this game. Like, excellent software. Whoa. Yeah, you want to be careful doing shit like that. That's a fucking great way to get yourself in serious trouble. Remote bombs. Yeah. Excellent, that's what I was looking for. Alright. Good. It's nice of them to bunch together like that. <clears throat> Made my job quite easy. Now they probably know where I am. There's more than just those guys. They're probably just sitting watching for me to put my head out. I think the combat is actually some of the 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 most oh fuck. I don't know what he was doing. Uh some of the 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 tensest moments because the the combat can be really fucking really fucking hard. You know, when it's um when it's full swing. I seem to fuck around. It will rip you a new asshole if you're if you're not paying attention. Also we're playing it on the hardest difficulty, so that's no doubt gonna factor in a little bit. Yeah, so that's the this is the other route that would have approached this fight. We came off alright. That uh go oh fuck. What were you even doing there mate? Just fucking I'm sure I left my teammates around here somewhere. It's just all these dead bodies. Who put those there? Still being very generous on the health, I have to say. Seldom are we having to enter situations with particularly poor health values. You can share a lot of these things as well, and I'm pretty sure they, they go and they will kill things. Huh. Did I get him? I don't think that got anybody to that. You can't stun that guy. He he caught us with a shotgun shell there, I think. Oh no. He didn't. He just, just must have caught us with something because That is some death blows you got there, mate. Uh he he did he did a a face tingling amount of damage. Smacking our fucking face the way that these baddies often do. I actually made a, a map for Counter-Strike very heavily themed around the kind of environments that are in fear. I may show it off one day. I'm feeling particularly self-destructive. Nomad, you and water just do not get on, do you? My. What's this? Another Pendleton 2000.
Sneaky, eh? Sneaky little fuck. Doing that shit there. Putting his mines down. Laying a trap. Little does he know, I am well into traps. I ain't gonna get fooled by that shit. I'm the master of traps. Yeah, pistol. So he does throw the odd pistol at us, but yeah, it, it's not sustainable as a primary. If you want to use that weapon, you're, you're kind of fucked. So that shit will, um, Explode royally if we give it the chance. Arma Cham. Like on the London Underground, these guys are not fucking afraid of us. I think you're getting away from me there. We won't actually encounter that enemy for quite a while in the game, but I, I like killing him there anyway, just because. Just because. I mean, we can do it. If the game permits us to do these things, then we might as well. That's your fucking added value right there. He wouldn't have attacked us otherwise. He would have just fucking ran off. That was awful. Holy shit. And that was our last grenade as well. Oh shit. Fucking flanked, son of a bitch. Oh. Apparently, I should be watching my health instead of um, shotgunning like that. That was kind of stupid of me. I didn't put it too far back, did it? No, I didn't. Very good. Yeah. That was a little bit stupid of me. Although we, we opened that fight kind of badly. I get a better look at him now that he's on the water. Cool. What was he doing here? Who knows. Just having a gale time. Hey, we don't have a grenade anymore. Right. Let's play this a bit more conservatively because we rushed in there. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. No. No. Oh god, I can hear it. It's right there. Ow. Ow. You're fucking relentless, mate. Holy shit. Oi. That was a, a big old nasty fucking nade we took there. Far more than I would have liked to have taken. Oh, I heard somebody there. Yeah, we can go up there. Let's go up here first. And let's go up here. God, that fucking scared the shit out of me, that grenade. So I mean, this this game. I mean, obviously, it's the horror aspect is supposed to be. Played in from like Alma and the characters, but I actually think that the combat can be some of the fucking scariest. But it's just because of the way it pans out. I almost wish that, as I said, there was less health because I think that would make a lot of the scenes more tense. Some of them you could just fucking ram health medkits down your throat. 
come over the other side, fine. The music score in Fear is really good. Love it. It's one of my favourites, actually. I'm going to go up here. Even if some of it's just kind of nondescript sirens and horns and the like, I think it's still very impactful. Fits the mood of the game very nicely. And that's really all soundtrack has to do, isn't it? So we've died, what, twice? Yeah, we had to blow that up. Otherwise that thing was gonna get in our road. But that's fine. Now we can proceed unadulterated. That was the grenade we didn't pick up. I'm sure glad we got that. A little late, maybe. Uh, get up there. Probably not a coincidence. Thanks. Whatever your name is, Butters. Bears. Benders. Boogers. Busters. Uh, I think we're going to get a different gun here. We might not take it because. Um, I don't know if we need it or not. We're kind of well stocked in ammunition. So this is the kind of mini sniper rifle that you get. It goes like that. It's quite good. Um, we'll try it for the next fight. Uh, we can always come back up and get that gun. Obviously using it at the range as it was intended, right there. Yeah, here we go. That didn't kill him, fucking hell. Yeah, okay, we've, we've disturbed the hornet's nest a little bit. Well, not kicked it so much as perhaps just, um... Harassed at some. I hate the slow rate of fire on it. It just the way the combat in this game works. It just seems like a kind of a poor choice to me. Uh, no, we don't want that. We want, yeah, okay. Now what we need to do, get a couple of these suckers up here, or maybe just one, we'll see how that goes, and then we take an advantageous position. And then hopefully, boom. That was awful. What an awful throw. Oh shit. Whoa. That guy's got one of those fucking HV penetrators. He was looking to HV penetrate me, that's for sure. I'm not going back for that other one. The ammo's nice and all, but I think we can manage. 
<clears throat> oh, there's a gun. That's what I was looking for. We seem to come out of fights either amazingly or amazingly badly. That seems to be our motif in this, this play. Oh yeah. You hear them, right? Look at all these explodey barrels are. Oh shit. Whoa, whoa, look at how- Oh fucking Christ. No, 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 no. What was that? He was just limping away anyway. Wow, we took an incredible amount of damage in a very short space of time. Yeah, those penetrators, if they fucking... Oh, shit. Alright, okay, we need to... <laughs> we need to eat some fucking SMG rounds to the face. Holy shit. Oh, wow. Okay, let's maybe, um... Huh! <laughs> See, when you don't have any armor... The guns in this game will rip you to shreds in seconds. I think is where quite a few bits of difficulty come in. Huh. Huh. Oh, come on. Yeah, okay, that'll work. Huh. Oh, fuck off. I, I fucking hope that guy comes there then. You're not gonna. Ah, where's my shotgun? You see him, right? These guys. You need to be very careful with them because they have much. They, they behave very differently from other combatants in this game. They use different tactics. I love their armor. I think they, they just look they look so cool with their like the big shoulder pads. Got a certain a certain kind of anime Japanese edge to it. Not in this particularly undignified pose here, but um Alright, well that went better. Definitely went better. <clears throat> I haven't picked up one of them fucking boosters in a while, have we? E cotton. Do not eat cotton. It's not a wise suggestion. Pacing in this game can be a bit weird sometimes. You'll go through massive stretches of the game not fighting anybody, and then you'll just have like fight after fight after fight. Okay. 
Oh god. Here we go. Here we go indeed. This is... This is where things get a bit bollocks. <coughs> How do we want to approach this? This is good as any. Oh dear. Oh shit. Scary! Jesus Christ, mate! Ow, oh, that's HP penetrator rounds. No. No to you too. Hits. Whoa. This game also has lean mechanics, but I'm not a big fan of leaning in games, so I don't even have the keys bound to anything, I don't think. I find lean can be a little bit cheap. He said he's landing here. I'll get to a high vantage point anyway. Well, you know what? That's half nine. And this is essentially us finishing the first chapter of the game. So, I think that may actually be a good point for us to call it quits, at least for tonight. Uh, a good hour and a half. The next part of the game is uh, considerably longer. So what I might do... Oh, I can't. Alright, well, I guess we'll watch this little cinematic. Unfortunately, we're going to land right into a fucking fight, if I remember correctly. So we might have to do that before. Yeah, yeah, do that, please. I don't want to see it. Yeah, nice work, guys. Yeah. Oh my god, die, will you? Okay, we need a different gun. Ah! 
Okay, we did that last time. It didn't fucking work, did it? Whoa. Shit. Him, 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 him. Him, for fuck's sake. Him. 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 Woo. Oh, Jesus. He wouldn't him. He saw it. He wouldn't him. He was like, oh, I'll just reload my gun. God damn it. God damn it, game. There's just fucking carnage everywhere from, from that little firefight. Um, yes, what was I saying? Yeah, I think we will call it to quit. Or something there. Uh, yes, can we save the game? Save game. Twitch. One. I don't know why, it just took a screenshot. Okay, great. Well, um, that was good fun. I hope that was entertaining watching. I, uh, I certainly enjoyed that. I forgot how much I love this game. Um, so there we go. The the first installment. We're going to be continuing this through the week. We'll see if we can get Fear finished on extreme difficulty by the end of the week. Already ruins my plan of having no deaths, but I, I think that was inevitable, wasn't it? Peaceful night. Peaceful, peaceful night. Windows weirdly blinking in and out with texture anomalies. Lots of car park. Very nice. Difficult thing to games to get for games to get right, especially in that era, kind of 3D skybox look. But it doesn't look too bad, does it? Anyway, um, thank you for watching. If you tuned in, uh, and I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs>